Hello and welcome back to our study of Pnei Halach, the teachings of Rabbi Leazar Malamed Shlita. As we are getting closer and closer to Chag HaShavuos, we continue our daily learning. The next chapter, we have an interesting custom that is practiced in many, many shuls around the world, and that's Kishut Beit HaKneset. Rabim noagin lekashet et Beit HaKneset ba'anafim utzmachim yafim v'reichanim lichvot ha-Torah Many people have the custom to decorate the shul with all types of greenery, beautiful, fragrant trees and flowers in honor of the Torah that was given on Shavuos. And since the Torah adds life, And since trees represent growth, and life, so the custom is to decorate the shul in honor of the Torah that extends life and gives life with these living objects. And he quotes from the Lavush that Har Sinai, Mount Sinai itself, was decorated in a sense in these beautiful growths so that we would have honor for the Torah. That's the same reason why we do so in our Beit Knesset. Again, we're trying to sort of recreate Maimed Har Sinai to recreate the ex- acceptance of the Torah on Mount Sinai. oneg And some people will put fragrant types of leaves and trees so that they can add further celebration and, and enjoyment. And also to emphasize the spiritual aspect of the Torah, Sh'amr Chachamim, Mikol Dibur V'dibur Sh'yotam B'Pi HaKadosh Baruch Every word that came from HaKadosh Baruch Hu was like fragrance in the world. Some people also put tree branches. Because on Shavuos, as the Mishnah tells us, we are judged for fruit to the trees. And by placing them, we'll remember to daven for the new year of the fruits, and, we'll, and that we're a judge for Peres and we'll remember to daven appropriately. But we don't take actual fruit tree limbs because we don't want to have baltashris. We don't want to have a misuse and a waste of edible food. So he quotes in the Maharil and the Ramah that already from more than 600 years ago in Ashkenaz, this custom began. And from there, it spread to many different congregations in Israel, both in the Sephardic and Ashkenazic tradition. However, we find that the Vilna Gon was opposed to this custom. Because at the time, and there were certain holidays in the non-Jewish community where they would also decorate and use different types of fronds and leaves and trees, etc. And we don't want to appear as if we are following in the ways of non-Jewish customs. And therefore, he was opposed to it, and many people have followed it for this reason. According to most poskim, there is no detriment to following this custom. Because the prohibition of following in the ways of non-Jews is if we think that it will cause a breaking of offense or an aberration of modesty or of humility. Or if there is no purpose for such a custom, and if it's a non-Jewish custom and we follow it and it has no real purpose or source in Judaism. Or if we're just following because maybe we like it, and if it's, again, if it's something that has no basis. However, the minhag, maybe our minhag, maybe they're copying us, could be, we could say. Or maybe our minhag predates these types of concerns, and we have basis for it, that we don't worry that maybe this appears as if we were following in non-Jewish ways. In other words, if someone would come into a shul and say, decorated on Shavuos, nobody's going to think that, oh, look at this Christian custom that you're following, and that nobody would suggest that. We know the reasons why we do it. 
וכי נוהגן ברוב הקהילות לקשרי דספייס הכנסת בענפים וצמחים יפים וריחנים, and therefore that is our custom in many many שולס to decorate the שולס with these types of trees and flowers etc. ויש נוהגן גם לקשרי דס הבתים בענפים פרחים, and people also have the custom of decorating their homes. כיוון שענפים משמשים לנוי, הם אינם מוקצה. And since this is used for decoration, they're not considered muksa, ela shim chaga shvus chal biyom arishon, ein laha necha sanafim b'shabash, ein laha chem b'shabash liyom tov. However, as we have it this year, when shavuos falls on Sunday, so we have to make sure that if we're going to decorate our shuls and our homes, we should do so on Friday, because on Shabbos, even though you may not have a muksa problem, but you have what's called a hachana problem, you cannot prepare from Shabbos to the weekday, Shabbos to Yom Tov, which falls on a weekday, again, because of the Isser HaChana. I just want to share with you a, a couple of personal points on this matter. So those of you who know me know that I am highly, highly allergic to flowers, plants, etc. Uh, so that's perhaps one of the reasons why this is not done directly on the Aron Kodesh area of the shul where I sit, um, because even though it's a, it's a bona fide custom, it shouldn't come sort of to the detriment of anyone. That's a personal matter. But in, when I was the rabbi in Long Island for many years, they used to have evergreens that they would put all over the Arn Kodesh. And the same sort of nails and staple points were always there. And as it turns out, that it was done by a company that was run by my wife's grandfather and grandmother, Midtown Florist in Brooklyn. And they said that when they started out years ago in downtown Brooklyn, and they were trying to make their way in the flower business, the very first shul account that they ever had was the Jewish center of Atlantic Beach. And here I was years later, married to their oldest grandchild, and that was the pulpit in which I served. So everything comes full circle, and it's one of the beauties of the Torah. Here in our shul, we represent this value every single day because we are indeed Eitz Chaim, a tree of life. We have to remember that the notion of trees in Judaism and in tradition is very, very prominent, very important. And Eitz Chaim Hilam HaChazikim by the Torah is a living tree for those who would only take the opportunity to grasp and take hold of it. So I want to wish everyone a Chag Sameach as we get closer and closer. Remember that just by spending these few minutes a day learning, you're also grabbing onto the tree of life. Eitz Chaim Hilam HaChazikim Ba. Thank you so much for listening. We'll see you here again next time.